Hi, I'm Angela Busby. I'm a trainer here at Stuller, and on this segment of how it works, we're gonna show you how to size and wax. So we're gonna go ahead and size down. And uh, what you wanna do is you're gonna inspect your piece and make sure that all your prongs are there and your piece is complete and has all its parts. This particular piece has a number on the inside. It's an identification code. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out before you start. Otherwise your size won't be correct. So we're just gonna take that out. I'm gonna take a Q-tip with solvent. You're gonna just smooth out the texture that you put in there with the rotary file. All right, we've done that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check and make sure that uh, what this size is. And um, this is showing it's a six and a half. And I wanna go down to a four and a half. So I'm gonna grab my marker size and I'm going to take two sizes off. From a six and a half to a four and a half would be removing two sizes. So we're gonna find our two size, which would be the number eight on our marker size and we're gonna mark directly at the bottom of the wax. If you size it the, on the shoulders, uh, the odds of the, it being tapered uh, is very good, and then um, you're gonna end up with your piece too wide. One side's gonna be wider than the other, one side's gonna be thinner, so it's pretty important that you go ahead and mark in the dead center of there, right where the sprue would be at. So we're gonna mark that two sizes out, just to give ourselves a mark. And then I'm gonna grab the clippers and we're just gonna clip that section out. So now we're gonna put it on our ring sizer. This is a, a mandrel we use, step mandrel. You can use whatever it is that you have. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna weld this part together. We use a, a blue inlay wax for this purpose, or you can use an injection wax that's the same wax um, of your injection piece. And uh, I kind of like to use the, the same wax, but a lot of people use the blue inlay wax. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the piece is touching your mandrel, and you're going to fill that, that gap in. And you really only want to remove what you're the size you need. Okay, that's done. We're gonna let that cool a bit and we're gonna take the ring off of the mandrel and we're gonna start working it and making sure that all of the, the little holes or the, the gaps or the areas on the sides is, is worked. So it's already started to cool. So we're gonna take that off. And we're gonna make sure that we have a four and a half we are right on a four and a half, so now we can start working it. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna check and make sure that the inside is filled in. I see a little bit of an area. You might need to add just a tiny bit there. And then you wanna make sure your sides are filled in. So you're gonna fill here and here. I see just the slightest little bit of a, a groove here and there. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the same. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and file off the, the excess. So I'm going to use a half round file and it's flat on one side, it's half round on the inside and that will allow me to get on the inside of the ring and keep the shape of that inside. You don't want to use anything square on a half round or a round. That's pretty important. Okay, so we got our excess off that, off that inside and then we're gonna come, we're gonna do the same to the sides and the outside. Now we're going to work this outside. And you only want to work what you've added. Don't touch the rest of the shank because you'll end up with flat spots or humps. Or... So I'm going to go ahead 
And I'm going to get that Q-tip again with my wax solvent. Get a little bit of wax solvent. Make sure you don't put too much on. And we're just removing this, the file marks, the marks that we put on there. So as I'm working this, I see there's another spot that I didn't get. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that again. This time I'm using the blue inlay wax. It melts a little quicker than the injection wax. All right. So now I'm going to go to this. It's one of the little buff sticks. You can use them on metal. You can use them on wax. All right. I go back to my inside. Make sure that's out. All right. Now I will gonna. I'm gonna come back with a, a felt stick in the solvent to make sure that the file marks that I put in on the inside with that file is worked out because you want this to be as smooth as possible. And the cleanup in the metal is going to be a lot easier if you go ahead and take off any of the scratches. Felt works really good with this wax solvent removing the roughness. That is complete. We have just did a size and wax down. You'd go ahead and put your sprue right back on it. <laughs> 